Well, today at uh, Laguna Seca, I'm driving a 1975 3.5 litre BMW CSL. This is a car that we won the Daytona 24 hours in, in 1976, and the Sebring 12 hours in 1975. And so this was a full-scale BMW factory effort in those days, and it was really fantastic. You know, the car was amazing, and to drive it again today, after driving it uh, yesterday in practice, is really tremendous. The car feels really just as good as when it was you. The engine, of course, is the production-based six-cylinder engine, a version of which is in the street cars today, and we rev it 9,000 RPM, which is what we did in 1975. It's safe to over 9,000. It's amazing. You know, it's hard to compare cars from one era to another. I started driving in the 1950s, and here we are in the 2000s, and that's you know pretty well six decades. And so you can't compare a 1950s car with a 1970s car because the tyres got bigger. This car has big has big tyres. This BMW has tyres like this. But the other car that I'm driving here this weekend, the Scarab, of which there are only three in the world has got tyres like that, because that was 1950, mid-1950s technology. And so it's really hard to compare them. But I think the car compares very well to, let's say, the production BMW sedan that's used in racing today. I mean, BMW have a major racing program for their sedans, and I think this car probably compares very well. You know, of course, it wouldn't be as fast, but I'm sure the handling, the braking, the power of the engine is not so much different. It's 430 horsepower from 3.5 litre, and that's not much different to what they get today. So it, it's, it's a great car. Well, a straight six cylinder engine like this is always makes a tremendous wow, wee noise. They always have to, it always will. It's the way that configuration of the engine, straight six, is completely different to a V6 or a V8. Uh, but it's a little bit similar to a V12, you know, Formula One engines or V10s and V12s, and they have a tremendous, tremendous high-pitched note. And that's a, a combination of the layout of the motor plus using 9,000 RPM. You know, one of the which we never talk much about, um, but because it's quite a big, high car, a boxy type of car. It rolls a bit in the turns, and when it does that, it picks the inside rear wheels off the ground. Now, not in some corners, at some tracks they were right off the ground like this. Here it doesn't do that because we're not going fast enough in the turns, but because it goes light, you can aim at the curbing, which isn't very high, and you can gain that much extra road. You know, so that's a big deal. It means you get the power on sooner. You know? And if you make a small mistake, it doesn't matter too much, you just touch the curb. And in this car, it doesn't hurt it. Some cars, when you touch a curb, it really throws them. They go bah! like that. But the BMW, this doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It just goes over. The car feels great. It's been totally rebuilt by Tom Milner's company. He's the official BMW preparer, and they've done a wonderful job. The car is terrific.